July 5th, 4.27 a.m. I'm going to Sweden. Washington DC. Yeah, Denmark. Sweden! And Matthias! Yes! Woo! Is it going? Yeah. Alright, so I just want to tell you guys, I told Nick, I called him on the phone. He was a little upset because I was doing this video and I was calling him in the middle of his vlog or whatever. And he was like, I was like, hey man, I might bring my camera. And he's like, oh! You planning on filming a whole bunch of stuff or something? And I was like, I don't know, I was just maybe gonna bring my camera. He's like, oh, okay. So I didn't, I didn't bring my camera because he was obviously upset. You know, he's doing his vlog, I get it. Sweden's his thing. He's got claim on it, but I got a YouTube channel too. I'm just, just letting you guys know. I'm 100% sure that conversation never happened. It did. There's not a chance. You were grumpy, bro. I'm always grumpy. Yeah, I know, it's really, it's a sad. That's my new thing. Not new. This is what I do now. No, no, this is how it used to be. So I had a grumpy phase and then a happy phase, and now I'm back to grumpy phase. Unfortunately, it might just be the time of the year. Uh, two, could be. Two year cycle, similar to Two year cycle, cycle with grumpy. <laughs> there you go. Do it again, Kent. All right, fine. For you. Tornado. <laughs> 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 you want some DHA capsules from the fish? Kent, are you excited for the vape event tomorrow? Is that deodorant? I don't know where I am. <laughs> I always forget how much going to Sweden just messes with your internal clock, man. I couldn't even tell you my sleep schedule last night. I think I went to bed at 1 and then I woke up at 4 a.m. and it was light outside. Then I think I went back to bed at eight. Not really sure. Point is, it's one in the afternoon now, and today, today's the day of vape event, so, dude, we're gonna go to vape event. Just say it. No. Say it. What? Say it. Johan, I gotta go. What do you think of uh, Sweden so far, Ken? Are you really filming me right now? Yeah! Oh! Well, hello there! <laughs> Sweden is fine. I mean, it's good. I like it. Sweden, Sweden is fine. It's good. I mean, I like it. <laughs> Tell me what I was saying right before you turned on this camera. You you looked at me and you said, I'm sorry, Nick. I'm going to stop being so intense. Oh, yeah. That's right. I did. Well, you know, I didn't sleep well. Some guy banging on my door, yelling for Johan. Johan. In the middle of the night, 5 a.m. So it woke me right out of a deepest, most beautiful slumber. And you know what, guys? That, that didn't affect me well. So I drank a bunch of coffee. <sighs> I might be a little unstable. Where are where, where are we? I don't, I don't know where we are right now. <laughs> We're on a mysterious street in Sweden. And I don't know where we are. <laughs> oh, I wasn't recording the whole time? No, now you are. Well, I pushed record. Did you? Before that, I thought you had already pushed record. Oh, fuck. That was perfect. That was so good. Okay. All right, what? Five, four. <laughs> Yes! How do you feel, Kent? Yeah. Pretty good, man. I just need to get one point. Zero legs so far. You got two legs, let's be honest. Oh, no. Oh, no. Metodisk, ganska enkelt, enkelt men tydligt att se om det är något spel med sina tre mittbackar och en defensiv mittfältar som kommer ner. <laughs> Is Ruby Roo getting tattooed today? Uh, I think so. Um, yeah. I think the tattoo artist uh, has our logo. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you gonna get my logo tattooed on? I'm gonna get my logo tattooed. Oh, on. you should definitely not do that. Why? I don't know. It's really. It's not. Or you it can. doesn't say Ruby Crew or Ruby Roo on it. It's just the heart. 
Oh, that's With the cool. drop and the lightning. Yeah. So the great thing about the vape event in Sweden this year is that it falls on the day that the Swedish soccer team is playing in the World Cup. And so, Matias has it on a big screen in here. And before any bands start playing, before there's any cloud comps or anything, we're all going to watch the soccer game. And I'm really excited about it. Go Sweden! So, we made it to Sweden. And uh, we're just sitting here at the food cart. And I was looking, I was looking at the camera lens. I swear to God, Nick, don't edit me out. Don't! Do I know how you like to edit me out, Nick? We got corn here. I'm, I'm not using any of We those. have pizza. We have corn. We have salad. What else do they have here, Nick? Tell them. Uh, cider, beer, Smirnoff ice. Riveting content. <laughs> Fool. I don't know your name. And I feel ashamed. I need to explain this next clip really quickly. At this vape meet in Sweden, they had this event called the Build and Blow Contest, which I thought was honestly really very cool. And this is something I would love to see at vape events in the United States. But the way that it worked is there were two competitors that stood across the table from each other. There was a long table and then two competitors stood face to face. And what they had in front of them was a blank RDA. There was a set of coils. There was some cotton. There was a screwdriver and scissors and juice. And the whole contest was just basically like a build the RDA as fast as you can contest. Like build the RDA faster than the other guy contest. And so I went up against Kent and the idea is you when the you know when the buzzer starts you're racing against the other guy so you grab the RDA you open the coils you install the coils you get them glowing evenly and then you have it checked by the judge to make sure that there's no hot spots or anything and then you have to peel off your wicks you have to wick it you have to juice it up you have to take a vape and you have to blow it at the other person before they assemble their RDA and it was honestly really fun and uh you know there's it's a little bit of uh competition like i felt nervous up there doing that so what you're about to see right now is me versus kent in the build and blow competition uh and you know well i mean we'll see who wins oh. <laughs> There's Twisted Messers, Kent! Yay! He's going off to the table. Have you all really given up? I'm gonna let him win. I'm gonna let him win. You gotta let him win. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a quick picture of that. Because that was a lot that would never happen again. Okay, guys. One, two, three, go!
Yeah, I just uh, I just destroyed Kent in the build and blow competition. Destroyed him. Destroyed him. I can't believe I won. I want to thank uh, I want to thank Sweden. Uh, beyond me. Uh, thank uh, Yeah. I can't believe I'm, any words, Kent. How do you feel? Oh, uh, what's wrong with your throat? Was it just because you wicked it so badly? Yeah. <laughs> I was just threatened with bodily harm if I didn't put him in the vlog. So, introduce yourself. So, I'm Henrik. Yeah, from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I love. I love everything. Uh, what happened out there, Kent? I feel like you choked pretty bad. Well, uh, I'll tell you what happened. Yeah, but a bump. Oh, wait, it's a video. Okay. Yeah. Yo, uh, what happened was, first, I thought that you weren't going to do very good. So I was just taking my time. I was like, no pressure, I'm relaxing. Then uh, the crowd was yelling. And so they were saying, you got up there, you didn't remember how to build. You didn't remember how to wig. No. You choked. I wasn't choking. Okay. By the time I realized it was too late, I had some weird Chinese RD I'd never seen before. <laughs> I didn't even know how the clothes were supposed to go in there. Well, at least we know that the better man won. You know, I won. I'm not able to give you that. Yeah, you are. All right. Okay. No more. No more of Ken. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Away. Who's here? Ruby Rue, did you have fun at vape event today? He has a vape. God damn it, Ken. Did you have fun at vape event today? Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Metal. So much fun. So we went to a vape event? Yeah. We watched uh, the World Cup. Yeah. We got tattooed. Okay. Yeah. And we watched a metal show. Yeah. Best vape meet ever. Ever. Got some jazz. 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 Vape event is over. I don't have a voice. Kent? I don't have any ears. Um, so, <laughs> it was a great day, but we're not done in Sweden. We've got more Sweden adventuring to do, so don't think that this is over by a long shot. Okay, what he's not telling you is there's an after party tonight, and he's gonna go to sleep instead. <laughs> That's responsible. I'm not, I'm, I'm not ashamed of being tired. You know how long it is from California to Sweden? It's like a 17-hour flight. What's wrong flight. with your voice? Were you yelling when I was I gone? lost my voice. I was yelling at the metal band. I was yelling at... Uh, yeah, I'll tell you guys it was really loud because I had to leave to walk around so my tinnitus would go away. <laughs> anyway, that's all for tonight. Let's keep this party going. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't I going to tell the story about the old ladies? <laughs> no. What are we gonna do? Don't put that on the vlog. It is. What are we gonna do? Don't vape. What are we gonna do? What? I don't fucking know anything. <laughs> I'm glad you can admit that now, Kent. You spit on my face around the camera. No, I you did a curveball around your camera. So, right before we got on the plane, I was like, Nick, like, I've had enough like, of your shit <laughs> today. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, Ow. Hurts. Yeah, I bet it hurts. Now you know what it feels like. Excuse me, there's someone with an extreme peanut allergy. Oh! No peanut products at all. You gotta fight saying. for your right to vape. Fuck! Yeah. <sighs> We're gonna go on a boat. Jiggly bigglies. Wait, how do you say I'm it? trying way too hard. Wait, 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 wait. What is it, though? It's what? That's a thumbnail. Fuck all those other people. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Make it a good thumbnail. No, that's a dumb thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but I always drink plenty of jolk. Hey. Just sit right back and I'll tell you tale, tale of a faithful ship. <laughs> a three hour tour. A three hour tour. Okay. Blow a big cloud. <laughs> blow a big cloud, Josh. No bites. Just blow a big cloud. B roll. Blow a big cloud! Hey, let me drive your truck. Remember that? Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> well, we pulled up uh, onto this little beachy area here in Orlisahamn, Sweden. Um, Ruby's around here somewhere. Right. Oh. All right. Gnats. Gnats everywhere. Nick. What? It's sunny. I know. You okay, want to go swimming? What? Kent, you want to go swimming? I mean, I'm going to. <laughs> Would you like me to go with you? Do you want some company while you swim? If you're coming with me, then I'm going swimming. Okay. Oh hey, wait. <laughs> Whoa. Shh. I feel like I'm filming a Bigfoot sighting. <laughs> I want him to fall over so bad. <laughs> oh, it's too dark. Say goodnight, Kent. Say goodnight, Kent. Goodnight, Kent. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not a lot going on today. In, in Sweden, uh, Kent's here. And I'll tell you why. Because you're not willing to take control of your own life and make an adventure out of nothing, Nick. That's why. You're the one that taught me that. And I'm disappointed that you lost that attribute. What? Remember when you were like, grab that truck, take the bull by the horns, Kent, learn how to drive a stick shift in Sweden where we can't read the signs. And I said, you know what, Nick? That's Fuck it, you're right. No, that was not in the video. Nobody's gonna know what you're talking about. Well, they do now. Oh. Tell them the story. Also, Jess is here. Say hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. <laughs> What's up? What are you guys doing <laughs> So the story goes like this. After vape event, I was really, really hungry. I didn't eat all day, and, and the, I discovered there was a 24-hour McDonald's in this town, Urisaham, Sweden. And Kent said uh, he would drive there because he's the only one that had nothing to drink. He doesn't drink, he had nothing to drink, so he's like, I'll totally drive. So it turns out the only vehicle that we could drive was a gigantic, like bigger than a U-Haul moving truck. Yeah. It was like a huge moving truck that also happened to be stick shift. So, at, Which I don't drive normally. So it was like 1.30 a.m. and Kent's driving through a town in Sweden he's never driven in, driving a stick shift for the second time in his life, and it happens to be a gigantic truck. But I put my faith in Kent, we had an adventure, we got to McDonald's, we bought food and we got back safely. Yeah. So I think he so, should be proud. Exactly. They should be proud. But what I'm saying is, what happened to that spirit today, Nick? You weren't hungry enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're saying I lack my adventure spirit today. Because you had enough food. Easily. It was easily accessible. The reason we had to go to McDonald's is because the entire town is shut down. It's a tiny village on the lake. Yeah. The only place that was open was McDonald's. It tasted delicious when we were that hungry. I hadn't eaten for hours. It was good. Driving, can't read any good. of the street signs. Don't tell anybody in the police department that I did that. <laughs> yeah, don't call. <laughs> <laughs> but there's really uh, not much going on today. We're going to go see Ant-Man 2 with Matthias, I think. And that's going to be the adventure today. But tomorrow, tomorrow so we're supposedly going to a theme park. And that... Now that it's raining. That's going to be a damn thing. So... going to ride roller coasters today and Kent is putting sunscreen on his face and Jess is showing him how because apparently he's never done it before. <laughs> Oh, 
Sorry. Excited, Kent? Are you guys excited? <laughs> So there's this really tall ride here called Atmosphere, and everybody else went to go do it, but me and Jess and Tim totally, absolutely chickened out. It looks genuinely scary. Kent was really trying to talk me into it, so we'll see what Kent thinks when he gets done. There's no way. There's no way I want to do that. Ever. Sorry. It was really good. <laughs> no, what I like about that ride is that like, you know, like at the top you feel pretty calm. You know that like you're about to feel like you're gonna die. And that's what it is. It's like your body is like, we're falling and we're gonna die. You know, but you know you're not gonna die. That's why it's so fun. <laughs> Matias just mean mugging the camera. Kent's just being Kent. Hey, cat. You're not even recording. Yes, I am. Oh, hi. Uh, what would you think, Ken? How, how would I think? I'm gonna put this vertical <laughs> next to your vertical video. Oh, yeah, it was a good. It was a good one. I almost yeah, dropped my phone so a few fun. times, but it was worth it. It was worth it so for, this for the fans. For this footage. Wait till you see this picture, though. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Kent. <laughs> For my hat. the beginning, all the middle bits too, when we did the other thing, and at the end, it's good. Well, Kent just did a live stream, and uh, we're about to go on this ride right here. And, uh, I'm not going to film it, because I will lose everything. Matias! Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. So I'd love to get your thoughts on Helix. It was a good ride. It was a good ride. Where's the camera? Here? Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah, don't look at the screen. Look at the camera. Okay, hi. What'd you think of Helix? Am I looking at the camera? Yeah. Okay, I thought Helix was good. I liked it. Wait, wait, wait. You want me to be more entertaining on cue again? Like your little monkey boy? <laughs> All right, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, $5. be funny. Oh, man. Helix was a wild ride. I didn't... <laughs> I was ups, there was downs, and I was like, whoa! Where did the southern accent come from in there? Dude, I don't know. It was a wild ride! It's not like I'm getting paid for this performance. <laughs> yeah, I'm paying you, remember? Oh, yeah. Jace! Uh... Well, we've had a real fun day here at Lisburg in Gothenburg, Sweden, which I learned is Scandinavia. I didn't know that. Kent told me that. So dropping knowledge left and right, Kent. But it's been great. It's been real fun. Today's our last day in Sweden. So you know what? Done. I'm, gonna, I'm going home soon. And uh, I just want to say Sweden is great. Kent, is there anything you wanted to say uh, to the video before we end it? That it's a great tree. This is a great tree. I completely agree with you. Now that he's not looking, I want to say that I, I like you guys a lot, and it's been a lot of fun, 
being with you the past year, daily, <laughs> Thursday vlogs. It's been wonderful. And um, I hope that everybody has enjoyed it as much as I have. It's been a wild ride, let me tell you. Uh, I am wearing rabbit ears. All right, everybody, so this represents the official, official, official end of this vlog slash Sweden trip adventure. Um, obviously, hopefully you saw that uh, Sweden was kind of just an amazing time. I love coming back here every year and uh, I love Matthias and I love Beyond Vape uh, Sweden and uh, I love the guys that work for Matthias. Um, they're all fantastic. The event is fun. I love coming here. Um, I'm glad there was more people this year. Um, the Swedish vaping community is uh, still very small. It's very small, but they are a very, very passionate, uh, passionate, passionate group of people. And honestly, coming here is uh, very inspiring to me as a person, as a vapor, and uh, as an advocate and as a content creator, it's, it's very inspiring to me. And I'll just end this by saying uh, thank you to everybody for bearing with me while uh, I take some. I took some time off, and uh, I, you know, I traveled to Sweden, obviously, and I took a little bit of time off. Things should be getting back to normal very, very soon. I was just talking to Kent downstairs, and um, we were talking about, uh, you know, uh, work and uh, work-life balance and um, things like that. And I'm just, you know, I've just been getting really, really, really burnt out, <laughs> um, going nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. I mean. For the last few years, um, I've just uh, I've just been going hard and going hard and not taking any time off and not taking any time for myself and not even really worrying about my own uh, my own well-being. You know, to to a certain extent, I've just been going and going and going. And so uh, <sighs> it felt really good to take a little bit of time off. And uh, that's going to be a thing that is going to happen a little bit more frequently moving forward just to maintain my own uh, sanity. One thing that is really very important to me, and, and I realized this while I was on this trip and I couldn't vlog, is one of the things that's really important to me is um, the news. <laughs> and, and there's so much stuff that has happened while I was gone in Sweden that I didn't get to talk about, that I really wanted to talk about. That's something that's really very important to me. So that's one of the things that I'm really gonna be focusing on. I'm gonna be focusing on getting uh, high quality, you know, reviews out there on, on vapor products, because I, I do believe that every smoker deserves to vape, and I believe that every vapor deserves a really good vape. And I also believe that every vapor should be informed about what's going on in the world of uh, vaping and tobacco harm reduction. And that's something that I really, really want to focus on moving forward into the future. So uh, yeah, I've got a lot of big plans and uh, I've got a plan for a live stream as well that I'm really excited about. And uh, I, you know, I'm also getting married this year. And so it's just, the, 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 the amount of stuff that I have on my plate does not fit on my plate. <laughs> and now I'm just rambling. But anyway, I'm going to sign off. That's what I got for today, everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for believing in the cause. And yeah, let's keep on vaping.